the vector symbology, yeah, it's not just symbology. This is the vector. That's the craft that they pay homage to. I don't know who that race is. It has, I assume it's reptilian because that's the only people the race that is everywhere in the solar system. The one that Dr. Bergroom describing his book and on the the one that they encountered on the moon, Earth moon, that I have found everywhere too. All the monuments and they're everywhere in the solar system. So the symbology really is a homage and it's been for thousands of years. This is not the first thing. It got more acute during the Middle Age. As you're gonna see, this is Jose Camilla presentation on one of his films. But uh, you can find the craft. This this one on, on the right is I found it in, in Soho on December 22nd. But that month is so filled with objects that it's just incredible. You cannot believe how many amazing, huge ass objects appear. This one that goes into the, the sun, <clears throat> you can only see it on the optical camera because on the stereo camera that see directly into the sun, they cut the images from 3,000 to 40 images only. And by pure luck, they, they didn't catch this one, the vector, the one that is the most important. And you can see it right here on the, the NASA logo right there. Up right there. That's for you not to have any doubts. There's the NASA logo. That's the craft on the song. And that craft appear, and that craft is about five times the size of Earth in this uh, configuration right here. It's on top of the sun surface. So, electromagnetic vehicle in the shape of a vector but it appears, I mean, those craft can shrink or enlarge at will because they control electromagnetism. It's all about vibrational frequency. You can match, I mean, you can do anything practically. Nothing is solid. We think it's something is solid. No, it's not. Everything has a space inside between the atoms. No, no matter how tiny or how huge, the only constant is a space. And what the, how the sun goes, who controls space, controls the universe. It's true, well, half. Really, who controls the universe is one, one consciousness that we call God, the Creator. 
the source, he or it control everything. He is infinite, there is no beginning, no end. That crap about the Big Bang, nah, that, there wasn't any Big Bang or any nothing. Nobody knows how that deal started. The astronomers have been filling up with bull crap. They don't know nothing. They don't even know the song, what the song really is. Well, Dr. Bergeron found out that it is a machine. It's artificially made. And you can see it on the images from the, the Soho or stereo images. You can see the, the, this mechanical. It's, they have structures. I mean, this entity go in and out of that thing like it's their house. It's, in the, it, it, the, it's a stargate, it's a gate. I mean, the kind of physics this entity's control is beyond our dreams, way past our dreams. You see the logo, the NASA logo, the vector shape, that's it, this crap. That must be the race that the, the, the bosses, that's what I would say. Those are the bosses. Those are who rules. The builders of this solar system are those people. STS program patch is a triangular patch that, again, hides the use of the chevronic vector symbology. And that also goes for many of the STS-specific mission patches. Uh, every single one of the International Space Station expedition patches carry the vector symbology. The Russian Mir Space Station used the vector symbology. That was their, their official logo. And you can even go deeper. And look at military industrial complex companies. Look at the logo on a company like Lockheed yeah, Martin, two vectors. Um, the X Prize logo, Ames Research Labs, U.S. Space Command, and get into the military realm. The United States Space Command, their official logo is the vector symbol. And when you look at the military's individual space specific programs, all, all of them deal with vector symbology and their official insignias. And the, the question really becomes, who or what are these people paying homage to? For the right the people, you idiot! This world. Check it out. Vector. And that's on the moon side. There's a huge structure that wraps around the moon that is like a giant snake. It looks like an anaconda. It wraps around the moon. That's why they pull the falls and see all the structures. That's what it is. They don't want to show it does. That's the structure right there. This painting is titled The Madonna with St. Giovannini, was made sometime during the 1400s. The artist's name is not known, but at first glance, you can notice a UFO shape in the sky to the right side of the Madonna. If you were to see the original full-size painting, you would see the object clearly. Looking at the enlargement, you can see a man and his dog standing and looking up at the object. However, this painting has something else being depicted. On the left side of the painting, you see the sun and some vector-like objects seemingly flying from or towards the sun. Perhaps this artist was trying to tell us something. In another painting of the Madonna, made by a completely different artist, the unusual patterns of the sun and the vector-like symbols have also been added prominently on the Madonna's world. You can see the same symbology on this painting as on the one before. This time, however, there is no UFO object to be seen anywhere in the sky. 
this footage was taken over Mexico City in 2002. There were many other videos and photographs taken of the same type of object, clearly resembling the shapes as seen on the visor of the astronaut, on the moon, and depicted in the 14th century paintings of the Dallas Museum. There is probably a larger story behind the vectors, but it is very unusual this symbology has been adapted by all the United States and foreign space agencies, especially enemies like Iran and others who are also making missions to the moon. So this is another reality that nobody wants to, nobody don't even, re, they don't know about. This is what space is really like. We are encased in a structure. The solar system is a structure. And they, 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 they are trillions of tools and conduits and it's like a huge ass machine. And they use electromagnetic energy to move everything. And this EMV that Dr. Bergrun calls them electromagnetic vehicles, they keep, maintain, transform, and do every kind of shit on the solar system. The Voyager 1 and 2, they are stuck at the rim of the outer perimeter of the solar system. They haven't said nothing, but something is keeping them from leaving the solar system. Because they don't want us to see what the solar system really look like from outside. And they don't want us to see what the outside really look like. The universe, the galaxy, really, outside the solar system, the cocoon. Those are the things that they do not want us to see, these entities. And the military industrial complex also, they, these idiots think that those are space elevators. There's no any freaking elevator, they don't need that shit. These entities are far beyond that. There's no any, the vector. They, they, they are, they use electromagnetism. They go in and out of this dimension. They move through dimensions easily. This is all, uh, uh, this guy is, is so far behind the, the research that is sad. To begin with, none of them mentioned Dr. Bengrum, who was in the know, who had high clearance, higher than the U.S. president. Imagine that shit. That old man is so brilliant, is still alive. He must be like 97 years old right now. He's still alive. At 94, he took this law license that takes seven years. He did it in one year, included. <clears throat> Excuse me, including the bar examination, the bar exam, which takes one year to, so he compressed eight years in one and got his law degree plus the bar exam. And they tried to poison him after the conference, the remakers of Saturn. But you don't hear any of these idiots talking about him and his work. I don't know what's wrong with these people. I think it's jealousy. 
or I don't know they feel